There we go, he's just down there. So it looks like him. I think it is Mvula, and the other guides are saying on the radio that it is him. So isn't that exciting? It's been a long, long time, like I say, since I've seen him, and I'm not sure how long he is. It's been since the last time we saw him on live drives. I'm sure it's been quite a while. He's not an animal that spends a lot of time in this area. Morning, everyone. Thanks, Aubrey. Um, so he doesn't spend too much time anymore in these areas he's no longer a territorial male because unfortunately he's become quite old and with the likes of Tingana and Anderson around a male leopard that is a little bit older is unfortunately being pushed out so like I say now because we are with the commercial vehicles that have guests we will play a leapfrogging game so we'll all get a chance to be in front so We'll just go into different areas with the pressure from the other males. But you can see, look how worn those ears are. Those ears are all tattered, which is the signs of an old male leopard. So like I was saying to you, what we're going to do is allow the vehicles to kind of leapfrog us and so we get to a point where everybody gets a chance to be able to see this beautiful cat um, it's one of those systems that works really well because in the time it takes to find this animal you, if you've got three vehicles it always is much easier to find them you can check different areas together so it allows for everyone to get a chance to get into the area and help one another out and then when you find it it really isn't too bad everyone just takes a few minutes to be able to watch now we're not the only ones out here it's not just myself and lanky leo smith there is a feminine touch to our morning 